mostly dia bukan badan. Okay, badan tu as in kita boleh cakap injury. I feel very good about myself. Uh, coming from like not wanting to dive anymore to getting into the finals. So yeah, and then kita pun dah tukar coach. So very last minute training pun training camp pun saya memang last minute sebab last minute dapat tahu kan. So I think to the finals with that short amount of time, I think it's very good. In terms of your mental well-being lah, because you know that very short period of time, you have to rush your body, you were recovering from your injuries, and adding on, after all this, the relief, uh, did this fire back your passion to continue? Mm, I'm not sure yet. I have to really think about myself first, as in, I have to reset. I think uh, I need to reset for myself. So I'm doing next, I have a plan on uh, my plan lah, but, uh, I, I'm still working, I'm still planning it lah. I don't have any, like, kata putus nak buat apa lagi. For now, I just not rest. Okay. In terms of this trip to Olympics, RTG ada, walaupun you came in late, how was the support? Was it sufficient for you? Was it good? Okay. Very short time, but how you feel? Uh, uh, for that very short time, difficult lah to say because I already very distracted lah. So about the outside pun part I dah tak focus. But I think it helps when they yeah, send me to training camp for uh, before the Olympics. So I think itu sangat-sangat penting and yeah, thankful lah. They, they are willing to send me there. Being a senior diver with this kind of program, RTG selepas ni, another four year cycle will begin <laughs> immediately after this. Do you see where's the things that need to be improved lah? Uh, to be honest, for me, I minta, uh, no, I don't know, I just think I, I'm not sure yet, but it's hard to say, I think it's better to ask Roddy or coach, yeah. Because you came in a little bit late, huh? Yeah. So in terms of diving inside, do you still think that you have more diving to give? Of course, it's still early, you like you said, but you're still young and still the best around. Uh, yes, uh, I still love that sport. I, I will miss diving. Um, so yeah, I think I have a lot more to give with the proper program, with the proper coaching, with the proper everything. So, but for me, most importantly, communication with your teammates, with your coach is so important. If you have a good communication with your uh, colleagues, I think it's, uh, you can make that teamwork uh, be better. Bita, uh, daripada apa yang berlaku uh, dengan awak cakap persediaan yang tidak cukup dan everything mungkin ada sesuatu yang boleh dipelajari lah bukan saja you tapi semua pihak lah on uh, perjalanan uh, ke Olimpik kali ini hmm, yeah, People boleh cakap ya yeah, uh, you are an experienced athlete things like that but kita uh, kita berubah berubah as in dari segi badan berubah teknik berubah as you grow as you grow as you train semua benda berubah so you cannot expect people to be the same. Okay. So everything changes. So, but still, kita give everything we have, everything, semangat, uh, hard work, semua kita bagi untuk apa? Untuk buat, buat benda yang kita suka, benda yang kita sayang. So I think people need to, uh, need to buka mata lah. Memang, as I always say, benda yang at least ni buat is not easy. We spend hours of training, days. So, I think the most important thing is the hard work, the effort we put in every single time during training. Apa kekurangan yang you rasa lah untuk ke Olympic kali ini? Apa kekurangan yang paling kita ada pada you? For me, just time. Masa. Itu je. Mita, uh, tadi you kata ada perubahan dari segi badan you dan umur yes. you. Untuk LA, untuk berapa, uh, untuk berapa itu umur you pun dah 29. But Brian masih percaya lagi you boleh. So, macam mana kita? Dia berasa untuk diri you? Mostly, dia bukan badan. Okay, badan tu as in kita boleh cakap injury dan kita takkan stay tak ada injury free tak ada even only yang pun dia ada injury because we we train hard that's why injury come lah so yang the most benda yang kita only saw adalah injury maksud saya badan tu adalah injury injury kita akan adapt different apa cara yang berlainan dengan body kita so maksud saya dari segi itulah kita do you see that more spotlight ni more pressure more but dulu, not as much as this now. Everything is amplified. 
everything social media, everyone criticizing, everyone talking. Do you I, see there's an issue? Actually, that depends on how you control it. You, uh, that's your choice. You want to see it, you want to check your social media or whatever, that's your choice. You have a choice. So for me, I think it's more like me, myself, giving myself pressure because I want to be better. It's all because uh, it's all about me. I think about myself. I don't think about others. Yes, I do think about what coach are saying, what my family are saying. Okay, that's important to me. But outside, like you said, social media and everything, if you give support, Alhamdulillah, thank you very much. But yeah, we need to control these things. We need to learn to control all these things. Because yes, in a way, it's a distraction for us. But yeah, you have to you have to know. You have to control it, yeah. Kita berapa lama you nak masa untuk cooling period tu? You nak reset berapa lama sebelum you? Itu saya tak boleh nak cakap sebenarnya. Kita tak boleh cakap, Pak, saya nak reset ni tak ada. Depends on your mental how? well-being, how you nak adapt balik, how you nak cari balik passion tu semua and everything. Kita yeah. daripada tiga Olympic, mana satu yang daripada puas hati? Semua saya puas hati. Semua saya puas hati. Ini, yes, maybe uh, this time is not the not the, the result that we want. But I think me and Coach are very happy with it. Nothing, no regrets. We we dah give everything. And we, kita dah bercakap, kita dah cakap. We have no regrets. Yeah, a lot more can be done. But macam I cakap, time is my greatest enemy. 